Okay. Let's not be fooled here. Beneath the Dior sweater are uh, the same pajama pants that I've been wearing for three days. So, just so we're all on the same page. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. As I, along with, you know, the rest of the world, have been called away in my house, a whole lot of nothing has been going on. So, I, and like I said, pretty much everyone else, has resorted to binge watching Netflix, or just my favorite TV shows in general, in an attempt to make this video relatable and on brand and maybe just brighten your day. I don't know. Lord knows we need more of that. I thought I would take a handful of my favorite shows recently and shows that I've watched in the past and I'm currently watching and turn them into outfits. And obviously I had to get a little bit creative here because all of the shots were taken around my house. So forgive me. They're not as, you know, creative and out of the box as usual. But nonetheless, I hope you guys still enjoy it. And also, this video is, once again, sponsored by YesStyle. As some of you may know, I've partnered with them numerous times for these kinds of fashion videos. So make sure to go check them out if you're, you know, looking to do a little online shopping while you're bored at home. So yes, enough about that, and let's just go ahead and get on with the video. All I'm thinking about is riding in these Porsches, but don't be coming at me with their horse Acting like you know- Kylie Jenner to the foyer. I have a little surprise for you. Okay, so to start off, I did an outfit based off the Kardashians, which I know is technically on Hulu, but not Netflix, which is the same concept either way. For this outfit, I kept it pretty modern and trendy with a black monochrome and a few statement pieces like the green blazer and the chunky bag. This wasn't based off any Kardashian in particular, maybe more of like a Kylie or Kim look, but either way, it gave that like same LA businesswoman vibe that they all seem to rock. Patients were now playing dress up. Big sales on them big meals. Got a pocket full of coupons, we going on well. And you know I got them refills. Got my dimes and the coffee vents playing on the JBL. And to top it all off, of course, I had to add some little diamond earrings inspired by Kim's famous moment that we shall never forget. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her It's huge and I'm so lucky and thankful I'm also really drunk Yes, okay, it's another reality TV show. It's the last one, so don't worry. But this outfit was based off of Love is Blind, which is a Netflix original, and basically, a bunch of strangers choose to get married to each other within a matter of days, which, yes, sounds as dramatized and ridiculous as it sounds. Um, but nonetheless, it's pretty entertaining. And as you can probably tell, I tried to make this outfit really girly and resemble that of, like, a wedding dress, because I found that pretty fitting, but also made it a little bit more casual by adding this little statement houndstooth purse and a denim jacket. As you can probably tell from the Korean song and the writing, this is actually inspired by a great K-drama called My First First Love. I absolutely loved watching this show and really fell in love with all of the characters, but more specifically, Oh Karin, who this outfit is actually inspired by. Without spoiling anything, she is, I believe, an heiress, or maybe she's just mad rich, I don't really remember, but she has a very girly sense of style, and if you can't tell, that seems to be what I usually gravitate towards. She's always seen wearing lace and skirts, and just with a very, like, girly aesthetic altogether. I can't believe it. Believe what? That I'm a stone cold bitch with ice water in my veins? Yes, exactly. Okay, so this outfit is based off of The Politician, starring one of my favorite people on this earth, actor, Broadway star, and just musical king, Ben Platt. The overall plot is basically just a bunch of preppy, spoiled teenagers running for student council, but it actually goes into a lot of other messages and issues throughout these kids' lives, and it's a really cool show altogether. Not to mention, the aesthetic of this entire show is mwah, just chef's kiss, it's so pretty. She wants you all to herself. Beck, you've got a stalker. Hey. 
To be quite honest, I don't think I need to explain the plot of this one because it was such a popular show this year, but this outfit was based specifically off the second season with love, and I really tried to give off that boho LA vibe that like a really attractive psychopath would fall in love with, so be sure to let me know how I did. Hey, I'm Joe Exotic, otherwise known as the Tiger King, the gay gun cane redneck with a mullet. This outfit right here, it's not my best, I'll be the first to admit, but I wanted to find a way to incorporate these beautiful and obnoxious pants. And honestly, they looked something like I could see Joe wearing to a special event, like his iconic wedding, for example. <laughs> Anywho, I paired them with this animal print top and a denim jacket in an attempt to make it a more casual look, but let's be honest, much like these pants, there's literally nothing casual about this show, so personally, I think it's pretty fitting. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun filming it and just like matching up the outfits to the TV shows. I will put every item I wore from YesStyle in the description box below so you guys can go check them out and make sure to let me know which outfit was your favorite. I hope everyone is staying safe, being themselves, and washing their hands, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!